What's up guys? This is part two. Um, I'm at another adventure, by the way. Um, I am heading up here uh, at an undisclosed road up here in Tiller, Oregon. And we are looking at that right there, as you can see in the background. There is a 1940s car and another car all the way up in that canyon. And we don't want to look at my face. So we are right here. If you look over here, there's two cars right over here. There's one and two. These are actually pretty complete. This one still has what looks to be an inline six. I'm going to try to get down there for you guys. I may not. I may fail. But you know what? Don't ever say you fail because I don't fail. I always try at least. So anyways, let's get down there and let's see what we can find. So we made it from the top down to here. There's a remnant of an old tire. The car is right on the other side of that knoll. Hopefully we can get to it pretty easy without any... Uh, there's actually no car I just found on the way down. That The only reason why I even know it's even there is because there's like a little piece of metal sticking out. But let's see what we can find. Found our first storage here. Oh, no Folgers can. That ain't cool. So apparently, from what I've been told, there used to be a road up here that came across the top here, and people would dump stuff off of here. But those cars are raw there. Let's get to those cars, because that's the, what, the main thing we're trying to find. Okay, guys, we made it. What are we working with here? video speak for itself as the mosquitoes are speaking for themselves as well okay I bet somebody can tell me what kind of car this is by off these headlights This one apparently has no engine. Floorboards are gone. I assume this car is probably on its side. And when they did the logging, it probably fell because it doesn't look like it's been sitting here very long. Let's get to the other side. Yeah, this thing's done. Really sad. Not really much to see. It's been flipped over recently. Now to the main thing. You guys ready for this? This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh my. It's kind of good that they did log this or thin this recently because I don't think I would have been able to see this. Look, it has like a little bar in the middle too. I know someone's going to be able to instantly tell me what kind of car this is. So strange as that. I think because a lot of people don't come up this road, they don't know about this car. That's why it's so intact. I know it's different from what I usually see. I am sweating like a fish. <sighs> I 
I've looked this over a little bit off camera. I can't find anything that derives what kind of car this is. The block does say something like 08. Starter's missing. You can see where the carburetor would have been. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes. Cool little flap. Let's get to the side. Let's get to the side. It's got the little like strikers on the fenders. Suicide doors too. See the little door piece. It's a good thing this has been vlogged recently. I would have never found this. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. I'm just getting eaten alive here. A lot of the suspension is still here. Okay guys, one last view. Then I gotta go. I have some other videos that I'm going to shoot as well. I know one of you guys is going to be able to pick off that bumper. It's a shame about that car. That car's definitely, uh, it, it, yeah. Anyways, I need to get back up to the road and such. Maybe I know one of you guys can pick that out. You guys are always really good in the comments. It means I gotta get back on the road and then I will do an outro and then I will tell you about some more stuff coming up.